Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making lavender baby soft soap. So we have a special guest here today, Amanda, and she's going to go in on her, her lavender. But first, Lauren's going to take us through all of the ingredients that we're going to use. So for our oils, we're going to be using olive oil uh, and palm oil, as well as coconut oil. Uh, we, we have our filtered water and our lye crystals as our caustic agents. And um, we have, we're going to be using sodium lactate again. Uh, so this will just be one tablespoon and lavender. Uh, we are going to be using sodium lactate because we aren't going to be lining our soap molds. So if you watched our previous video, we had go into an explanation about uh, line, not lining our, our round molds and we uh, are soap making this time with the sodium lactate again because we want to make sure that it wasn't just a fluke. Sure. <laughs> go on. Okay, so I brought along with me some English lavender. It's a perennial from my garden. It blooms every July, a nice big purple flower. And then as the month goes on, the flowers do um, just dry up on their own and then they're ready to be used in things like soap or just uh, to make your house smell nice. So we're just going to be plucking some of the flowers off and putting them in a grinder. We'll grind the flowers up and we'll be adding them to the soap uh, and we're going to use olive oil to infuse the ground up flowers into the soap um, during the trace phase so that's at the same time that we add our scent so i guess let's get soap making so first we're going to take off the flower leaves the petals and put them into our grinder. So you can see that we're taking the lavender, it's dried, we're taking off the petals and putting it into that grinder. Now we're adding our coconut oil. Measuring that out. And here comes our palm oil. Now of course we use sustainable palm oil um, that's cruelty free and uh, we make sure we source it accordingly. So now next we have our lye that we've measured out and our distilled water. We've added our lye to the distilled water and we're just mixing it in until it completely dissolves. And then we've melted down our palm oil and our coconut oil. It was really already warm here in Canada so it had already really melted. We're adding in our olive oil and then we're measuring out our essential oil, which is lavender. So we're adding essential oil on top of just the flowers, um, which we're gonna grind here, just so that you can get a little bit more of a lavender scent overall. Even though the, the flowers do give you that lavender scent, we did want to add that extra essential oil in there. So we're adding the lavender petals that were grinded up to our olive oil, just mixing it in there. We probably could have just skipped this step and just added it directly in, but we thought we'd try it out. So here we've added our lye to our oils. They've both reached roughly the same temperature, uh, under 110, but above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we're gonna hand blend uh, our lye and our oils together till we reach trace. So now we're gonna add those grinded uh, lavender petals into our soap. And our essential oil. Now we're gonna continue to mix that in. So we're going to be having this go into a square mold or a rectangular mold as we like to put it. And then all of our extra overflow, we're gonna put it into our PVC pipe mold. I forgot to mention, and it wasn't shown here, that we did add sodium lactate to this mixture. Sodium lactate helps um, for us to keep, to get the mold, or sorry, get the soap out of the mold. And we're just gonna cover both of them with a towel and then a blanket 
just because they do start to warm up and as they, we want them to kind of cool down and not crack. So we waited a bit and then as it got a bit more hard, we decided to add in a little bit of a top texture that we see in a lot of other soap videos. So we're just using a spoon to create those ridges into our uh, rectangle soap mold. And then we're just adding the leftover um, buds that we'd, we had left over, the flower petals, to so just add a nice decoration along the top. Now you don't have to do this part, we just did it for aesthetics reasons. And then we're gonna cover it back with a towel and blanket just so it doesn't crack as it's trying to, to cool. Apologies for the bit shaky video. That was myself uh, just kind of talking with my sister while I was filming. So sometimes I'm not fully paying attention. So now we waited the next day and we started to demold it. It slid out pretty relatively easy. And then we just proceeded to cut our soap. Now we did put the cylinder one, so the one in the PVC pipe, we did put that in the freezer so it would come out and slide out easier. And that's what it looks like when it's cut. It turned out really well and we really enjoyed this recipe and we'll probably do it again. So we did spray it with alcohol just so it doesn't get that soda ash as it dries. It's the next day and we have unmolded both of our soaps so and also cut uh, the first one so this was the loaf mold uh, with our little sprinkling sprinkling of lavender on the top and you can see it cut beautifully and you can see the the lavender that we chopped up and put inside looks beautiful uh, this is the round mold we haven't cut it yet because it's still frozen solid, but you can see that the sodium lactate is not a fluke and we were able to unmold the soap from our tube mold e very easily. So we'll definitely try that again. So uh, I look forward to making some more lavender soap in the future. It was an excellent experience. The recipe has turned out beyond our expectations. If you have any other ideas about how we can incorporate lavender into our soaps, please put them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.